Good morning, it's Tess, and today's tip is spring weight loss tips. Doc, he's been talking a lot about how spring, and it looks like I have a bug, uh, spring is the time of year that we have a lot of uh, opportunities for getting the most out of weight loss, and yes, that's my Starfire board behind me. Uh, and I looked up some articles from like the CDC and a Dr. Prolon and uh, women's, uh, an article on what they consider important things for women to do in the spring. Hi, Thomas, good to see you. So I'm gonna share the tips. A lot of the tips were consistent between the three articles, and in some cases, articles had a different pointer than what the basics were. And I'm gonna say the CDC basics, everybody says the CDC basics, probably because we all go to those sources and uh, that th these are the things that the CDC recommends to make the most use out of the spring for your weight loss. And the first thing they say is move more and eat less. We've all heard, heard that a million times and that's kind of what they say. Then they say eat healthy. And I guess that goes into what do you call eating healthy? We know a lot of us with Doc B, he's helping us like talk about fasting and try to get rid of processed foods, eat more natural, eat less frequently, eat less food. Um, the CDC also talks about choosing drinks wisely. Some of the other articles were point blank and Dr. B would be this way too, drink water. Uh, these They talked about drinking wisely, so they were just going a softer sell of, uh, we all know that if you go to Starbucks or any of those, even like the smoothie places, you have to be careful because a lot of these places add a lot of sugar to what you're drinking and that's not really gonna help your weight loss journey. The next one they say, and we've heard this a lot, and I will agree with it, get enough sleep or get quality sleep. And if you struggle with quality sleep, I would recommend meditation and uh, affirmations like set the stage so your brain knows that you want a comforting sleep. Like I, because of my unlimited work with Zara Mahoon, I do like pre-paving statements and all that is is I make a statement so that I'm telling my mind I want it to behave at night. I'll say things like, I want to sleep well, I want to relax, I want to rejuvenate, and I want to wake up feeling energized and eager for my day. So that's kind of how I do my, I actually do that every morning, every night. That's Zara Mahoon Unlimited. That's her book, her journal, her 40-day journal book. And I do that faithfully every day. Plus I'll say statements during the day. They help me a lot. This one, the CDC says, be sun safe. So they're telling you to use like suntan lotions and don't get too much sun. They're saying brush your teeth. And ironically, I was hearing something on the news recently about tooth brushing and probably people miss the dentist because of COVID. Um, another obvious one from the CDC, don't use tobacco. And then the CDC also recommends learning your health history. That way you have things you can watch out for and move forward on. Like I myself take CoQ10 every day because there have been issues in the family connected to CoQ10. So I just take CoQ10 every day. Um, and CoQ10 is in every, every cell of the body. So that's just one of the things that I do. Um, so the CDC, wrapping it up briefly, as they say, move more, sit less, eat healthy, choose drinks wisely, get enough sleep, be sun safe, meaning use a... Uh, protection, brush your teeth, don't use tobacco, and learn your health history. So that's the CDC's recommendations on making the spring count for weight loss. The next one, well, hi, Terry, good to see you. Um, and if there's anyone else on, thank you for being here too. I just don't see you. The next one is MD, Pro, Prolon, FMD. His advice was pretty much the same as the CDC, except that he came right out and said, drink water, not choose drinks wisely, he said, drink water. And then the other thing he said is green it up. So instead of the CDC says eat healthy, he said, get a lot more greens in your diet. And a lot of the dark leafy greens have protein in them. So the people that are struggling with protein are trying to push protein. Hi, Teresa, it's good to see you. Um, that's a, a good way to do it. I know at one point I was um, iron deficient and dark leafy greens were a good way to supplement. So this guy, Again, his, his add-on to the CDC's recommendations for making the spring count are get green, green it up, get a lot of dark leafy greens in. Um, good to see everybody this morning. The next one he said, this doctor said to get spring to be the most successful in your weight loss journey is soak up the sun. So the CDC recommends that we protect ourselves, but they're in agreement that we should be in the sun. So really a lot of these tips from the CDC are the same, but the 
The other two articles that I read gave a little bit more information. The last thing that this doctor talked about, and I, I was glad to see this because Doc B's been talking about it a lot, is that you should try a fast. And in the Transform Your Life group, Lori Halter just gave some information about what, what fasting can do to help your body to clean house, so to speak, and keep going forward. So that's worth a read if you want to go over to the Transform Your Life group. Now that was the first two articles, CDC and this Dr. Prolong. So just as a brief recap, CDC says move more, sit less, eat healthy. Um, I schedule UV therapy, which is code for simply sitting outside in the sun. There you go. And I know the sun makes me feel good. So I'll go out there just because I love the warmth of it. And being in a northern community, they that's one of the things my doctor checks for all the time is vitamin D. But I, I love to be outside. I'm, I'm loving now my morning walks. The sun is actually up now. So it's kind of, it's, it's, it's going to be a beautiful time of year for all of us. So just to recap the CDC real quick, they were saying move more, sit less, eat healthy, choose drinks wisely, uh, get enough sleep, be sun safe, brush your teeth, don't use tobacco, and learn your health history. This Dr. Prolon pretty much said the same thing, but his little changes to the CDC requirements that I noticed are, he didn't say choose your drinks wisely, he said just drink water, which sounds just like Doc V. Green it up, get a lot of dark leafy greens because there's a lot of protein in them. Uh, clear clutter, and Doc V talks about that. If we clear the clutter in our lives, it opens our minds up for other things. Soak up the sun, so he said soak up the sun, which was CDC. CDC said protect, but he said get in the sun. And then his one that the CDC did not talk about at all, but Doc V talks about all the time is fasting. And then there was another article, and I looked at this because it was women specific to women, and it was saying what women should do to make the most out of the spring for weight loss. And the things that they um, added to it is they say embrace healthy fat and get stronger. And both of those I agree with. Um, healthy fat, you know, like out of like avocados have fat or you know, you know, olives have fat, but if you can, like real food fats, try not to get all the processed stuff because we all, if any of us are in the tribe, we know Doc V pushes us a lot to get away from processed foods. And the getting stronger thing, I thought that was important too. And Doc V said something to me recently because we had to put some goals together for him. And because I did the zip line and I got stuck halfway on the zip line, it made me think that I need to do more upper arm strength because. It's just not as strong as it used to be. And he said, yes, because you guys have very strong legs, because when you were overweight, your legs had to hold you. So your upper arms would be uh, weaker. So I thought it was interesting, but this article for women's pointer said that you should be uh, doing something to build upper arm strength. So I'll go through all those pointers again and let everybody get back to their day. Uh, these are tips on how to make the most to spring for your weight loss journey. The CDC says move more, eat, move more, sit less, eat healthy, choose drinks wisely, get enough sleep, be sun safe, brush your teeth, don't use tobacco, and learn your health history. Dr. Prolon FMD points out that he doesn't want you to just drink wisely. He wants you drinking water. So that sounds just like Doc V. Then green it up. Green it up. I know when I was struggling with anemia, they were pushing dark green leafy vegetables because you can get protein from dark leafy greens. And that's all natural, which is definitely what we prefer because we're trying to get away from processed. Clean clutter. Doc V talks about that all the time where you can clean out the garbage in your life that makes things easier for you to move forward. Soak up the sun. In the northern communities, it feels good. It really feels good. And watching a beautiful sunrise or sunset is an added bonus to feeling good. And then this doctor also talked about, like Doc V does, fast. Try fasting. And I'll mention again in the Transform Your Life group, Lori Halter put some information in about fasting that she found that I kind of briefly read through this morning as I was going on live here. And it looked interesting, so I'm going to go back and look at that. Because... Fasting, it almost seems like it gives your body a chance to clean house, get all the junk out, so it declutters. So giving your body a fast from time to time, let your body declutter so that you can start fresh again and then you don't got a bunch of junk sitting inside waiting for an opportunity to be removed. And the last one was a women's health and there were a couple things they talked about that have come up for me recently that I thought would be good to share. And it says embrace healthy fats. 
And because even for a lot of women, we lose our hair if we have bari bariatric surgery. And we all know that there are natural fruits and vegetables that have fats in them, like avocados or olives, things like that. So if you can get some natural fats into your diet, it's even like the idea of carbs. People complain about sugar and carbs. My medical team and Doc V supports too. The idea that if I'm eating fruits and I'm getting a fruit that came off a tree that has nothing added to it, I don't worry about the sugar counts. What I'm worried about is the processed foods where they're adding additives that are chemical sugars. So that's where I pull away from my sugars. I don't eat those sugars, I avoid those. But if it's in a piece of fruit, if I'm making a smoothie or I'm only putting in a couple of chunks of a piece of fruit, it gives it flavor and it's all natural. I'm not, I'm not getting anything else. But, uh, the other thing that I mentioned too is, is um, get strong. And I agree with that too, because I realized that my lower body is very strong from carrying all that weight. My upper body needs some help because next time I get on the zip line, I'm hoping not to get stuck one mile into the two mile run. So I hope you guys find this helpful. Again, I pulled these from CDC, a Dr. Prolon and uh, women's, it was called Calm, Healthy and Sexy. And it was a uh, women's pointers for making the most of spring in your weight loss journey. So I hope you guys find that helpful. I will be live in Doc V's group on Wednesday night. And for those of you in the challenge group or part of the Transform Your Life challenge group, uh, congratulate the doc. Today is number 800. He's been on live 800 days in a row, no misses. So have a beautiful day. And if Doc V can be live 800 days in a row, we can do one little thing each day to make our lives better. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And thank you for being here.